Ned Flankin, your mother and I are going to Cleveland for the weekend. While we are gone, we will have Mrs. Gray to stay here with you. What? No fucking way. Mrs. Gray is the most Birmingham creature that ever walked the face of the earth. Besides, I'm old enough to stay by myself. Ned Flankin. Given your record, there is no way in fuck you are staying in here by yourself. Your father and I need some time away from you, and you are going to stay here with Mrs. Gray and that is it. I still say I can stay here by myself. There is no way in fuck you are staying here by yourself. God only knows what our house would look like if you stayed here by yourself. Oh. That is Mrs. Gray. And that flanken. You be nice to her. Hello, Mrs. Gray. Please come in. I'm Ned Flanken. Who the fuck are you? Ned Flanken. You know who I am. I'm Mrs. Gray. Ned Flanken. Don't start with Mrs. Gray. We are leaving and you had better behave. Mrs. Gray, we will be home Sunday around 2. You have our cell number so if you need us you can call. Ned Flanken, we are leaving now. You had better behave, and we do not want to get a call from Mrs. Gray telling us you are misbehaving. Don't worry Mr. and Mrs. Flemkin, Ned Flemkin will be a little angel. Ned Flemkin, I swear if we get a call. Don't sweat it chief. Everything will be cool, you'll see. Ned Flemkin, why did you let all the bees in the classroom, turned off the power of your school, and dropping yogurt all over the place thinking it was bird poop? That was very disrespectful. If you do that as an adult, you will get arrested for these things. I am so sorry Mrs. Gray. I just wanted to do a little fun. Well you need to let things go. Now let's go to the kitchen and I will get you something to eat. I have a better idea. I'll go up to my room. You go to Burger King and get me a Whopper. And call me when you are back with a Whopper. Yeah, that's not going to happen. You are going up to your room, I'm going into the kitchen to make a healthy dinner of spinach, kale, and cabbage, and I'll call you when it's ready. Yeah, you do that. I am not eating that shit. What kind of a fucking idiot do you think I am? I don't know. What kind of idiot are you? Now go upstairs, and I'll call you when your dinner is ready. Meanwhile... That gray leafy shit is nuts if she thinks I'm eating that rabbit food. I'm going to get me a Whopper. First I'll sneak outside and then I'll call myself an Uber to go to Burger King. Five minutes later. Hey man, are you Scott the Uber driver? Yeah, I'm Scott. Are you Ned Flemkin? Yes sir, that's me. Ned Flemkin. Okay, where to? To Burger King my good Uber man. I'm jonesing for a Whopper and we gonna get one. Straight to Burger King and don't stop for any of the lights. Five minutes later. Ned Flankin. Come on down here, your spinach, kale and cabbage is ready. You better get down here now, because that's only one thing worse that spinach, kale and cabbage in that is cold spinach, kale and cabbage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ned Flankin is gone. I had better call Eric and Sharon to get back here. Eric, it's Mrs. Gray. Ned Flankin is gone. You better get here quick. Son of a bitch, I knew it. We cannot even leave for a day and Ned Flanken ruins everything. We will be right there. A few moments later. Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? You aren't supposed to be here until tomorrow. Want a bite of my Whopper? Goddamn fucking sheep shit Ned Flanken. We could not even leave for four hours and you completely disrespect Mrs. Gray and go to McDonald's. Burger King? Shitty Burger King, fucking McDonald's, Chick-fil-A it does not goddamn matter. You left the house without telling Mrs. Gray you were leaving and she had to call us to come home. Now get your fucking horses ass up scarves to your room and do not come down until the Cleveland Browns win the goddamn Super Bowl. Now, 